What is the greatest innovation you've witnessed in the sport of harness racing? Uh, to me, that would be, believe it or not, the, the quick hitch for the joggers and the, and the race bikes. Uh, that, that's been a, a big innovation for us. Probably the quick hitch. It used to be uh, harnessing in the old days, it'd take a long time to get them into the bike and that, and for colts and that, this way you just hook them up quick and away you go. Probably a quick hitch. Um, I worked for Bill Wellwood a long time ago. Um, Bill was one of the uh, first investors in it, and he was the first guys to have it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's made such a difference, you know, breaking horses, um, accidents that happen that you don't have to spend all this time, you know, with the old tie downs and that. And I mean, just the sheer convenience of it, but it's also been a huge safety um, help too. I guess lights, really, huh? For nighttime racing, I would say it would be lights. Well, uh, taking off the hub rail. I think it's the greatest thing that happened in the last 25 years, you know, like there's a lot less accidents. A lot of drivers don't get hurt. A lot of horses don't get hurt. That's the, the best, I think that's the best thing they ever done for the game, take off the hub rail. I know one of the main ones I would think about would be like, you know, taking out of the hub rail. Because from going back to when my dad used to race and seeing all the accidents and how many people got hurt, you know, like this way is a lot better. You know, there's a lot of difficult things with the rules and how it works. And like, you know, sometimes, you know, a guy goes in side three pylons and he doesn't get put back. And, you know, there's a lot of variations, but, um, it's a lot safer. When they took out the hub rail, that was a pretty, uh, pretty neat innovation. You know, it saved uh, many accidents, I think. And with the pylons there, it's pretty safe, and uh, that was a good innovation. I think removing of the hub rail. I'd like to say the starting gate, but it was just around before me. I wasn't around for all the old school stuff, but. Uh... For me, I don't know, the, the race bike, I think the race bike has changed a lot and uh, helps a lot of horses and I mean right now it's the UFO, what's next? The UFO, it's the best, the best bike there is and uh, I love mine. Uh. Yeah, speed wise, <clears throat> I think when they come out with the, uh, the old Cheetah race bike was a great thing and I was really a fan of the Cheetah, I thought it was, I'm not a dri race driver but I thought it was a pretty safe safe race bike and was easy on the horse for soundness wise. I never seen a bike keep a horse sounder. And the driver's feet were together, they didn't get propelled under the race bike, catapulted was bad, but uh, I was sad to see the cheetah race bike go. Yeah, a lot of things old come back to new again, like the race bikes now are, the style is actually going back to the way the race bikes used to be. And, but they're just made out of different materials and that, but they seem to be changing the most. I, probably the race bikes and just how uh, aerodynamic and uh, you know weightless they seem to be able to make them. Probably the race bikes, I guess. Uh, I mean, you still need something in front of you, obviously, but uh, the race bikes have come a long way. I mean, it's like sitting in your couch now, I would say. So, yeah. Uh, the greatest innovation I've witnessed, uh, just the evolution of race bikes has, has been huge in the last 10 years, even. <clears throat> they it seems to mean a lot to horses and drivers just being comfortable and just the style of racing too has is, is been totally changed in the last since I was a kid. I would have to say quick hitches on the on the, the harnesses. I think that uh, more than the bikes, more than the wheels, quick hitches is wonderful. Well, I mean, the quick hitch had to be something, you know. Uh, that, that made a massive difference in horse racing altogether. The quick catch harness. It, uh, when I was uh, a kid, we had the tie down harness, and, and uh, I was in Windsor when they were first coming out, and that was uh, about the best invention we've had. I'd say the uh, quick catch on the harness was uh, probably the biggest one. It would have to be the, for me, either the quick hitch. Uh, I never even learned when I was a kid how to hitch up a bike with all the straps, so. I'm glad they did come out with the quick hitch, or else I'd probably be doing something else. Oh, hands down, the round wheel. I mean, it's, it's really difficult to race before that. Uh, the greatest innovation, without question to me, has been the uh, hub rail gone, pylons in. Uh, it's been safer, and it just makes more sense, and it's just just been great for uh, racing all around. I think removing the hub rail is the greatest thing that ever was. It was a danger factor, that's for sure. 
greatest innovation? Now there have been a lot. Um, I, I think the hub rail coming out was a was a big one for safety, no question. Uh, I, I'd have to say that in, in my time in the game anyway. The greatest innovation is getting rid of the uh, the uh, hub rail. Um, and one of the greatest innovations we have at the moment, which is not utilised properly by these managements with larger tracks, is a passing lane. The, harness, the uh, half mile tracks have them, and most of the larger tracks don't, which I really find unbelievable that they don't do it. Probably I would think that one of the best things to come to harness racing is uh, the passing lane. Whoever invented the passing lane, I don't think it's been around for a long, long time, but. It definitely makes small track racing a lot fairer. Well, my point of view is probably uh, race bikes are pretty cool. Well, they've come a long ways, I guess. Um, I think the, the racing bikes have come a long way the last few number of years, 10 years or so. Uh, I think it really does make a difference in horses. Just the different styles of race bikes that they've come out with in the last five, six years. Probably the race bikes. Uh, a little lighter, a little uh, better built, better axles. Bearings, all of the above. Probably the race bikes, I guess. They're getting pretty high tech now. So. Probably, like, I think, I, like, not this is coming from a driver's standpoint, but I think the race bikes have a lot to do with it. You know, like, I've seen bikes from back when I was really, really young compared to the ones that are now. Like, you have to pay $7,500 just for a race bike that you think you could make yourself in the garage. So, but uh, I do think, like, um, you know, a certain bike can make a horse go faster, or you still have to have something between the shafts, but, you know, for half mile racing to big track racing, I think the, the way the aerodynamics are on the bikes today, it makes a big difference. I believe it's the race bikes themselves, or it just seems like new technology just seems to make them go faster and faster and faster, so. Probably the whipping rule. Um, you know, they they want you to take it a little easier with the whip, and I think I'm okay with that. I don't think we need to use the whip very harshly. I think they'll go on with without it. I'd, I'd say the whipping rule looks a little better, so I'm not like, but I mean, some horses kind of need it, but I mean, that probably, like from seeing races from somewhere else to here, it does look a lot more uh, better. So I'm saying probably whipping, I'd say. I think the whipping rule, maybe. It's one of the changes that's advanced. Yeah, the whipping rule has been a big change. To the good, I think. Uh, definitely the whipping rule, I think, has helped the sport. Uh, you know, not watching guys knock on quite as bad. If it's kind of helped it out for better racing, too. I guess the newest thing right now you're saying rules is maybe at the Meadowlands racing style they have the rule that where they're fine, f um, finding the drivers if they give holes I think they get fined 300 each time. Um, it's really making some great racing at the Meadowlands. That's some awesome racing that Jeff Corral's got going right now and uh, they're going some wicked speeds and it's really exciting to watch. So if we could get that going at Woodbine and Mohawk with our drivers driving on uh, no more slow quarters would be real good for the game. I guess the, uh, the faster racehorse <laughs> innovation uh, the refined breeding, that's probably been the greatest innovation. Of course the breeding, the breeding's has gotten better and better every year and I mean the horses that, uh, two-year-olds that show up now are just incredible. I'd say definitely the breeding. I would say the, the build of the horses, they're getting so refined that they're closer to a thoroughbred than actually the old standard breeds. I'd have to say equipment as far as bikes, equipment, the safer, the safety of everything else, but uh, I'm really hoping we haven't seen the greatest innovation yet. Hope it's still to come.